Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about the implementation of gradient boosting. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about what's gradient boosting and the mathematics required for gradient boosting. So please watch our previous classes for understanding gradient boosting. So we implement gradient boosting on Amazon mobile data set. What's Amazon mobile data set and uh, how we have done data cleaning and data pre-processing and uh, the concepts required for displaying the confusion matrix and heat maps uh, and constructing the AUC plots. All these coding were clearly discussed in our naive base, naive base implementation on Amazon mobile data set. Uh, and in our previous classes, we clearly discussed about data cleaning and data pre-processing. Uh, so based on the assumption that you are following our playlist from the beginnings, so we will explain only the modification part, what we have done here for implementing gradient boosting. That modified part will be explained here. So please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of complete machine learning concepts and the implementation. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. The link to download this coding document and data document is provided in the description below. So coming to implementation, the first five blocks of the code is data cleaning and data pre-processing on Amazon mobile data set. So after data cleaning and data pre-processing, we converted our data, cleaned data into a file called Amazon mobile data cleaned.csv. So after that, we, we have taken that uh, um, cleaned data set and split the data. We are considering only 5000 data records from the data set uh, because the implementation takes uh, much time based on your random access memory capacity. You can increase the number of uh, data points. So we split the data into training data and testing data. This is the code for splitting training data into under testing data. So coming to next uh, block, uh, this code belongs to converting our data into bag of words. So we use count vectorizer here. So converting our data into bag of words, training data and testing data is converted into bag of words. After uh, converting our data into bag of words, now we'll go to our implementation part. For implementing gradient boosting, we use the module XG boost. So how to implement this XG boost? We already discussed in our previous classes when we discussed about the implementation and uh, implementation of Anaconda and uh, uh, Python. We clearly discussed how to install packages. Uh, so XGBoost, you, you have to install XGBoost package, uh, pip install XGBoost. So that's the command for installing a uh, XGBoost. Uh, so now let's take a look at uh, what's the package of uh, XGBoost uh, so that we'll have an understanding of parameters. The parameters which we use here is uh, n underscore estimators means uh, how many boosted trees we have to construct. Uh, so this is user for, uh, so this is the one m value which we discussed in our previous class, number of decision trees we have to construct. Uh, that's the n underscore estimators value. So what's the max underscore depth means? Uh, so the depth of the decision tree which we construct in our base learning models. Uh, the uh, default depth value we will take it as a uh, 5 because we have to construct uh, underfitted models uh, means uh, high biased models. Uh, so that's why we are taking it as 5. Next coming to next uh, variable learning rate is which we discussed for uh, taking a long jumps. No need to take long jumps. We have to take only small jumps. Uh, so that's why we use learning rate. Uh, this alias name we call it as eta. So learning rate or eta we call it as the same uh, alias names. Uh, so these are the parameters which we used on, uh, in our gradient boosting. Uh, in this n underscore estimators and uh, learning rate is considered as hyperparameters. Why we consider this in as hyperparameters we discussed in our intuition about gradient boosting class. Coming to implementation, now we use XGB, XGB classifier given max depth is equal to 5. After that uh, parameters, these are the parameters, hyperparameters considered, learning rate and n underscore estimators. Uh, learning rate should be between 0 and 1. So different learning rate values are considered and different estimators, different uh, size of m value is considered. So we give these parameters to grid search CV so that it will apply, it will take all the combinations of this. So if more than one hyperparameter is there, how it will consider? We already discussed in our decision tree there also, we consider two hyperparameters. Like that here also we considering two hyperparameters, learning rate and n underscore estimators. 
so uh, we will generate the heat maps for this two hyperparameters how we constructed the heat map uh, sns dot heat map uh, all these discussions were clearly made in our uh, decision tree implementation on amazon mobile data set the heat maps constructed here are this so here on the x axis we are taking here five parameter n underscore esti uh, estimators and the y we are considering parameters uh, learning rate so at what uh, hyper parameters we got the best value best values are given at uh, learning rate is equal to point two n underscore estimators is equal to 100 now we consider this best uh, hyper parameters uh, and we construct our model and construct the auc plot and confusion matrix so we are taking now we are constructing our next model on this uh, best hyperparameters maximum depth is equal to 5 learning rate is equal to point two. so n underscore uh, estimators is equal to 100 so coming to the confusion matrix all the coding which we have used here was clearly discussed in our naive base so how we construct the auc plot all these discussions were clearly made so this is the plots for auc plots and confusion matrix this is how we do implementation on gradient boosting you we done gradient boosting implementation on uh, converting our data into bag of words and you do it on tfidf uh, o2vec average o2vec and tfidf o2vec hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you